Smuggle up. Drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Stay tippy. Stay tippy? He pronounced his own name wrong. What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video, and today we're going to watch some more Tipsy Bartender. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's go check this out. Melted chocolate. Go down. That's not how you rim a glass, you rotate it. Yes, come up. Bye. Get it on your hands. Or a towel. This is unnecessary. You don't need to hurt yourself doing this. Guys, this one's easy. Put our glass here. Get a piece of ice in there. Now we come behind with our mini Twix. Of course, it's a tipsy bartender, so of course it's gonna be candy. Just a little flavoring in there. Don't tell me he's gonna shake that. He's gonna shake candy in the drink. Now I come behind now with some Irish cream. We use in Bailey's. One, two, three, four, five. You can't free pour when you're not holding the bottle correctly. It has to be pointed directly down. When it's held to the side horizontally like that, the flow is unpredictable. So counting like that is completely meaningless. Come behind that, okay, with some dark chocolate liqueur. Why do you need to add more chocolate? You already put chocolate candy in this. This is redundant. I guess what else, guys? We can just hit it with a, just a little drizzle. Just a little drizzle of caramel sauce. Why you have caramel in the shot glass? Why do you have to add the same ingredients over and over again? Okay, now I can shake this, and the ice should break up some of that Twix a little bit. Mm, mama! Mm. You don't have to be making a mess like that, jeez. The shaker's probably not sealed correctly. I come behind with my little whipped cream, right? You already put Bailey's. You don't need to add more cream. I grab my grado. And I grab another little mini Twix. Why? You have Twix in the drink. Why do you have to add the same ingredients more than once into this thing? <laughs> and I break this out. And I say, Lord, I'm going to Twixify this. Because now I got... Yeah, you Twixifying your tabletop as well. This doesn't have to be this messy like this. Grated Twix on top. Okay. And it's, most of that Twix is not landing on the drink. The waste no water, no people starving. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a grown man. Ice! Pink Starburst, gotta love them. It's a tipsy bartender, so of course there's gonna be candy. Come behind now with a little pink lemonade vodka. Now we can just hit this with a splash of Hennessy because Hennessy's gonna show up in this again at some point. Just a little. Yeah, we can tell because we seen him put ingredients back and forth multiple times in the same drink for no reason except to add unnecessary steps. Now we got some pink Starburst powder, okay? He's gonna add more Starburst flavor to it. Why do you need to keep adding the same flavors? over and over again this is redundant you know all these candy companies making these drink packs now so you drop this into a drink probably not out and you also have to make a mess alcoholic drink they didn't have me in mind when they made it but now they do okay now i'm in mind because they also probably didn't expect people to put the starburst powder on their starburst candy Hennessy time grab my hand now i just need a I know that he told us that he was going to put Hennessy again, but he put so little in that blender. What would that have done? Probably like a half an ounce in that giant thing, and now he's putting this into these Hennessy bottles. Like, why do you need to add these extra steps? Like, I don't understand. A little bit, okay? I ain't doing too much. I just need a little sm smidgen, you know, just, just to wet your tonsils a little bit. Are you kidding me? That's like a... That's less than a quarter of an ounce. What is this going to do? Just a little tonsil wetting, okay? Oh, look at you, look at you, run down the glass. Just a little bit. My little mixed drink. And I just pour this bad boy in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's the point of this? We gotta stick a little peg in this. Should I do it like- More candy? This? Yeah. Okay. 
And you drive that into your marble counter? Why isn't he doing this on a cutting board? We know he has cutting boards. He's damaging his countertop for no reason. Ooh. Ooh. Jeez, man, safety, come on. How's this guy still alive? <sighs> Dude, stop doing that, please. Okay, you want something in your back pocket? Put this in, okay, watch this one. Okay. You're gonna leave that in your back pocket? It's gonna melt, and it's gonna freeze your pants. Smuggle up. Drink responsibly, don't drink and drive, stay tippy. Stay tippy? He pronounced his own name wrong. Sipsy. <laughs> Smuggle safety. Trippy. Why didn't he just retake that? This guy has a whole crew. None of them know how to edit videos. We can break in some Everclear. Okay, and this 60% right here, 120 proof. I come in behind that with vodka. You just put Everclear. Everclear is just high proof vodka. So why would you need such a high proof vodka if you're just gonna dilute it with regular proof vodka? It defeats the purpose of having that high proof vodka to begin with. You can tornado it if you want. Look at that, look at that swear, I love that. Of course it's a tipsy bartender, so of course it's gonna make a mess. It's like a toilet bowl. Why does he hold it so high? The mason jar is this big. Just keep the neck of the bottle under the opening and you don't make a mess. It's that simple. Ice in this bottle, boy. So I can just come in and I can just pour like so. Why is he pouring that after he's setting up the ice? Now let's see if it goes down. It close, it close, it close. We can see. This is what happens when you don't measure anything. It's also very simple. Just drain some of that out of the spout. If you drain too much out, you can always pour it back in. We can see. There might be some spillage, but let's see. Of course, in tipsy fashion, he has to make a mess. That's his signature move. And we are good, okay? Come on, Sky, that's what you do. He has to be doing this on purpose. And why is he pouring it back into a bottle? You have a proper container to hold this punch. It has this ice container. You pour it into the bottle, it does not have that. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, look at that mess. Now you get some jalapeno in the bottom here. You come behind that with a squeeze of lime juice. You're not gonna muddle those jalapenos? You see that? Now you come in and you mud. Oh my god, don't muddle things with liquid in them. It's just gonna get sloshed around. It makes it harder and less efficient to muddle the jalapenos like that. If you're gonna put jalapenos with lime juice, muddle the jalapenos first and then add the lime juice. It'll save you time and energy. So you drop in a little bit of ice, and now we break out our tequila. Now you come behind our white tequila with a little bit of triple set. Our mixer in this bad boy is gonna be pineapple juice, okay? So you come in with a nice little, you grab it together. It's not of ice. You have to fill the smaller tumbler, the glass tumbler, to the top. Otherwise, it's not gonna chill the drink enough. And you give us a shake. This right here is my Lewis button. And the shaker is upside down. When you finish shaking, the large tumbler goes on the bottom in case some of the liquid from the drink escapes a little bit so it doesn't leak and create a mess. The larger tumbler on the bottom will collect it. Old school, that's what they used back in the cowboy days, you know? And of course, you don't smash it against your marble top like that. You risk breaking your counter. And you have a cutting board right there. That thing is a fixture in your kitchen. There's a crack on it, you have to replace the whole thing. Damn. Jeez, I hope he's not renting this place. I'm gonna feel really bad for the landlord. You got a little pineapple somewhere, right? You pulled some of these out. Okay, no weeds, so I wouldn't suggest Nothing weeds. Poisonous. You know? Poison. It's interesting that he used packaged pineapple juice and he bought a fresh pineapple just to use the fronds as the garnish. Why not use the juice from the fresh pineapple? Okay, because that already gave that a nice tropical look. Okay, so you get yourself the pineapple right. And we can come in like that. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Drink gets the packaged pineapple juice. The fresh pineapple is only for the garnish. Makes a lot of sense. You need a little bit of chamoy, okay? So you take your glass. Look at that. You see? And this ain't done either, because what I can do now is I can take a little bit of this and just, you know, just play with it in the glass. 
To make a manganata, you can just do that with the actual bottle of chamoy. It'll be better control and you can actually make it look nice because you can make it a little swirl. This is just creating a mess for no reason. That's pretty cool. So we got ice cream. How's that pretty cool? You just pour it into the glass. You come behind that ice with a little bit of tequila, right? So you get your tequila in here. One, two, three, four. Once again, if you're free pouring, you have to hold it pointing straight down to get an accurate count for the free pour. You hold it sideways like that, you get this fluttering of liquor that comes out and you cannot predict how much is coming out. You come behind your tequila with some orange liqueur, triple sec. Somebody Why is he pouring that correctly, but not the tequila? You could use Grand Marnier, but you could use triple sec. Grand Marnier is cognac based and triple sec is a neutral spirit base. Not the same. Come in with a squeeze of lime juice. So you gotta use what you got. You get your little mango necked in there. Okay. And this so this is gonna be so sweet. All that triple sec, that mango nectar, and you're just gonna juice half a lime. That's not enough acid to counteract that sweetness. Why so? Guys, you can hit it with a little food coloring if you even wanted more yellow. Why do you need more yellow? It doesn't affect the flavor. To get that to level out, grab my little tahini board and I just tap, 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 because I'm coming. Make a mess. And there's some who think I, I'm done, but this chamoy, I put a little bit in the squeeze bottle. Why? Because I need to come behind and do a little design, okay? A little design work. And if you pour from the big bottle, then it's a little harder. So I begin there, and you know, then I just come around. Do a little. What design is he trying to make? A circle like so. It was a circle. No, it wasn't. It was just a random pattern. I love the red in there. That's important. All right? Anyway, later. <laughs> is it as important as that circle that never was created? Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave on the comments section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.